Hello guys, and welcome back to Walking Dead Season 2. So as you can see, I have a little problem here. You know, when I go to my save, you know, like, there's a problem. I'm gonna show you. How the hell do I go there? There you go. So what happened is, I actually, you know, recorded this episode 4. But what happened was, you know, like in the mid-game, it crashed. I don't know why the game crashed. I lost my recording. And there is no way to restart the chapter. So uh, there is two options I can do. I can create with a new save and continue or I have to replay the whole freaking season. Like episode 1, episode 2, episode 3. I don't have the time for that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the save. We're gonna go to a new save like right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with episode 4. The thing is it is gonna auto generate you know the choices for me. So if any people is alive in my episode, they may not be alive here. Or any people that died in my choices may be alive in this one. So there is that. I'm sorry but that is the only way we are gonna go forward. I don't know why it happened. I don't know if it's gonna happen again. Let's see if- I hope it does not happen but I can't promise. So let's start it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. This is the first one. Yes, I'm ready with it. Safe I found, yes, yes. Choices will be randomly generated for any unfinished episode. As I said, it's gonna just, you know. Random. Okay, unfinished episode. Choices will be generated for unfinished episode, yes. take care of myself how am I supposed to raise a child I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge now folks are dead and I can't help but feel I'm to blame <laughs> fucker When you cover yourself in their smell, you rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. There you go. It selected most of my choices that I'm happy. You know, like, it selected two of my choices. Fuck yes. I think I chopped off her arm. And I think this also chopped off her arm. I think so. Oh yes. It did. She was bad. We're gonna leave. We're, we're gonna get out of this. Kenny! I don't care what these fuckers are saying. You're gonna be fine. She's going to turn. You can't save no. her. Please, Kenny. No, no, no. Please, don't let her kill you. She's gonna turn, man. What the hell is going on? Why? Why? She 
was going to turn. I couldn't let that. Well, it has to be done. Well, he did it to Larry, you know, like Larry. Kenny, damn it, man. Come on, on your head, Clementine. Fuck you, Kenny. Yeah, hits on my hands. You're gonna be kissing my ass when I save your life. And you're gonna be like, you was the right Clement time all along. Yeah, chop his hand and be beat his ass. Oh, fuck me. I was not expecting that. God damn it. I thought I were gonna fucking, you know, I shot him or something. Great, I died like in two seconds. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be fucking great. God fucking damn it. Going after Sarah. I had to fucking die every two episodes. There you go, it finally reloaded again. For the love of God. Come on, let's go. Why the hell are we standing like this? I mean, come on, Temi. Let's go, stop standing still. Look at it, more people are getting attracted to us. I don't get it, why are we not, you know, actually moving? I know she is searching for people, but still. Come on, this is dumb. We are gonna search them after we escape, right? We are not gonna search them in, you know, like in middle of a herd. That is just straight up stupid. I don't get it why Clementine is doing like this, even though Lee taught her. Like, don't stand, keep moving. It's okay, now she's gonna move. Dumbass. It pisses me off, okay? Like, you know, like stupid things like this. Keep quiet. Yeah, for the love of God, do that. You're not gonna find anyone in here. Oh, never mind. We are gonna move. We are still covered in walker guards. We need to keep moving. Remember that. We need a clear path to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah, she's pregnant. You know, we have to keep her safe. Damn it. Come on, Rebecca. We have to move. Oh my God. Jane. Jane. You don't know how much it pisses me off. Relax. You need to work. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, it is closed. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you won't understand. Just I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. through that cluster of walkers there's too many we'll make a cow catcher a what you'll see there that one looks light enough to carry i'm gonna get on the far side of her i need you to get her attention If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. Don't fall behind, sure. I really want to know if Alvin died or you know like alive in this episode because it is randomly generated I hope he's alive but looks like he's not here though
or maybe he's went ahead. I don't think Alvin is gonna leave Rebecca like that if he was alive, right? I mean, I may be wrong. Let's see. Episode 4, Amid the Ruins. I actually hated this episode because you're gonna see it. It involves Sarah a lot and, you know. Sarah is not built for this world. She needs to die, I'll be honest. She, right. If she leaves, she's just gonna I'm keep more right. trouble, more trouble, more trouble, and more but people are gonna I die just for the sake of her. Sure I don't see a way Sarah. she's gonna survive. She... And she's gonna die anyway in later. I just dead. spoiled, but fuck it. If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? Don't worry. They're gonna be there, We're so okay. Alvin is dead. We'll God damn it. Everyone soon. We'll at least be safe, I guess. We need to keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. I mean, it was Sarah's fault. She fucking screamed like a little bitch. I mean, I get that, you know, her father killed her. So it is not our fault either. Is Alvin He's dead but still. Is. Thanks to that fucking man. She was just gonna get all of us killed. Are you going to be okay? I'm talking over the dialogue, I know that, but there's a subtitle that that is the reason I put it on. Sometimes I want to tell my opinion. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? That's harsh, bitch. Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been well, so long. Great. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. I mean, yeah, yeah, that was some, for some Where bullshit that she else? brought. We she died. Yeah, how about There's I say about Alvin? Are you gonna be fucking no happy about it? Time. I told you, that's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. Well, what does Kenny want to do? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it, but it was scary. I 
I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... he's not thinking straight. The problem in Kenny is like, you know, I mean, if you know, like he does all this thing, like, you know, he killed Larry and said it was meant to, you know, like happen. But if someone does it the same thing, it is fault. But if he does it, it is not the fault. You know, his mind mentality is like that. Sarita, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Well, it was right. She got bit. Unless Larry, he was not gonna die, okay? Maybe he, well, he would have lived. You and he killed him. And he, you, you, you saw. Sarita That's fucking got bit. Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? If this bitch is, you know, like, so fucking, you know, like, courageous at me right now, he's gonna fucking die in the later. If Lee was here, he would have been fucked, boy. I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned yeah. out, I think I might have preferred you do nothing. Shut the fuck up, Kenny. For the last time, just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you tried. Still, it doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike. Yeah, on my ass. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Rebecca needs a safe, warm place to have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clam will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to. I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Scouting ahead. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well... A lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start... You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there you get enough broken people together and all you're gonna get are broken decisions 
Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well... it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. Shouldn't we be looking for Luke and Sarah? In a situation like this, you gotta ask yourself would they risk themselves for you? We've got enough to worry about as it is. Besides, we don't know where they are. Luke went off to try to save Sarah. I'm sure he'd try to save me, too. Okay, but first I want to show you something. And it might help find your friends. These are fresh walkers. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my haircut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. She jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. 
Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Look, we're gonna go do this, but it might not turn out the way you want it to. Are you prepared for what you might find in there? I think I am. Yes. I hope so. They might not be dead, but that might be worse. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. They don't sound too good. The clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for get it. Away. Is Nick alive? That is the question right now. Because Nick was supposed to nice be work. there, you know but he's doing. not there. Now watch this. God damn it! So is Nick died already? God damn it! I think Nick died, guys. Screw this! God fucking I damn it! First. Then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. We can't stay here. It's gonna take some work to get over there. There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. No, 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 no! <laughs> get up and go. What do you want me to do? Great. You, you did anything. Like nice trick, huh? There he goes. This bitch is dead. Come on, boy. A lot of yeah, 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 come on, and come on, come on, get some, something. there you go, I'm gonna do what this, and do death? this. People. Yeah, it is actually very effective. How do we get in? We can yeah, 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 we can talk afterwards, you know, do that thing. We will have plenty and time back in the camp or wherever the fuck we go. Get to your friends. What do you think of that? If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. People. What's going to grab their attention? Or right, any living thing. Come on. I got you covered. Sarah, I'm not. Oh, I think we had to grab the horn. Yes, I know this. That's that is not going to do shit. We're gonna open this. What are you thinking? I can't help you if you. I can't help you if you don't. If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Okay. Calm down. This guy's gonna do that. Come on. 
Come on. Crap. We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Like what happened there? Did that did that guy fell off the car or something? Help me block this. Hurry. Sir, please. Who's out there? Luke. Clem? Oh, thank God. I can't believe he found us. When I heard y'all banging through the door. Luke, are you all right? I'm, uh, I'm walking. I can't do much else now. Sarah, she's another story. I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're, they're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. Shit. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. I just don't. Clem, can you just can you just try talking to her? Listen, I uh they're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. I need you to listen to me, okay? Look, there is it's no important. way we can do this. Just leave her. She's gonna cause more trouble. I know you want to want me to help her, but it ain't gonna happen. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ever since the walkers. She's just not made for this world, okay? If we bring her, what if she screams in the next you know, situation? And it all like someone dies. Oh, is it, it is gonna be on me, right? What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem, listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong. Even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. Fuck it, I saved her. God damn it, I fucking saved her. He would still want that. Well, I guess you got your wish. something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay. Ready? 
Of course, I got to do it, right? Two, three. Our head fucking look tired. Okay, go, go. Keep pushing. Go. Come on. What is Sarah gonna do? She's just gonna sit. This is why she is not helpful. She's just a fucking liability at this point. Ah, uh, there you go. Fine. Luke, you first. We Come on, to... look. You gotta be the fucking hero here. What the fuck, man? Okay, come on. Jen is Clint. dead. Sarah, we have Jen to is go. fucking dead. I can't do Never mind. Now, I guess she Clementine. makes it. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. You better fucking pull us through. Fuck it. We didn't have a choice. Okay, there was nothing we could do. There was, there was nothing we could do. Come on. There was but she would have died next episode okay are you gonna save for one episode it's about Sarah okay it's my second playthrough that's why I'm acting like this if I it was my first playthrough I would have saved everyone you know kind of like try to save everyone but it is my second one, so we didn't I know, you know, like who is worth saving and who is not. And for some reason, I'm hating Kenny a lot in this playthrough. I don't know why. But when you re replay it, you actually see his personality, you know, like how he thinks about it. It is everything long. I guess there was just nothing we could do. Like he does it, it is right, and we do the same thing, it is wrong. I mean, I know he's going through shit, but Anyone everyone is going through shit, happen. okay? He's not the only, like, the Something only guy that is suffering Look, a lot. I, just, seen I mean, Clementine is the one who is, like, suffering a lot. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. Kenny didn't get kidnapped. Okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie, too, but she gave up. And when you really look at it, Maybe it's better this way. I think it was about Jamie, right? We were there for hours. You know, I should have gotten through to her. I should have done something. All I did was leave her behind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. There was Every nothing, look. She'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time. Look, he, and Clementine got kidnapped for she did not do anything. And, and when like, Kenny took the fucking food I, and shit like that. I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety, or ours. I hope I did the right thing. You did. 
Come on, let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Wait, where's Sarah? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No, no, <laughs> dead. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Henny had a family, he could help. Where is he? He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I know it's a lot to ask, but I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs> No, 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 no. Fuck him. I'm not gonna talk to him. Piece of shit. Look, the problem is... I picked every long choice about Kenny, so... It ain't gonna go good with him. God damn it. Could not leak come here. Jesus Christ. If he was here, it would have made so much easier. With Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beat. Every day, Duck, Katya, Sarita, no peace, no rest. I know it's hard for everyone, but things will get better. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The 
the museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her, make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much, and she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I think she's here. Oh, she is there. Oh, hey. We're not gonna have the baby here, though. Are We're actually gonna okay? have the baby in the museum, yeah. I think, if I believe. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh no, this is a place actually we're gonna give birth. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Find anything? No, not even trash. Okay, sure. We are not gonna scan. Are you freaking kidding me? I can literally can't go there, great. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. I 
guess it's broken. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Great. Keep looking. God damn it, I can't find shit. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Come on, please work. There you go. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming his way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Подожди, подожди. I really don't want to talk to him. I don't know. I kind of forgot who the fuck he is. Please. Well, motherfucker. My Margo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, I'm gonna talk shit. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need... Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are for it. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no. no. You cannot take those from me. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Push it. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? 
Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? Why the fuck did he come up here? Get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. I ain't gonna talk shit. I get it why she did, you know, like she wanted to threaten him. So he's not gonna come back. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. Jane took his gun and scared him off. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Yeah, he always tries to do the right thing. But he's not the same anymore. Well, I'm glad you see it too. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby, back at Carver's, in the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, uh, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine.
Great. I guess we're gonna go to the freaking memorial by ourselves. It is 1.2 miles. Yeah, that's great. Going on a little adventure, I guess. Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a, a feeling. Yeah, she's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like 10 more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you sit. Lee would have loved this place. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all Empty. the time. Yeah, true enough. Maybe we are just gonna go like that. I sure hope we can find something to take. Maybe we'll open that door, you know. Maybe we are gonna find something. Well, there's nothing to do, buddy. Oh shit, I think we have to find something, guys. Oh wait, can I go like here? Do you see Why can't I go upstairs? Come so on, far. man. There might be uh, some stuff the there, you know. Can I go? I, I should have checked if I can go out. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Let's talk to Bonnie. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Ah, oh, now we can open it. Good. Over here.
Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. What the hell are we trying to do? It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. Oh, it looks like I'm... I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... I think there's gonna be zombie in there. I'm calling it. I fucking called it. Well, that happened. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that. There you go. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. Well, we should have. Justin or dude did that. Let's get this water. It's okay. It is done. What is done? The more thing is, we have the fucking water now. Can we go back? Kenny is gonna be fucking pissed. Oh great! I have to pick it up, Bonnie. Come on. That looks I can't heavy. pick this up. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, there is no fucking way. like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carl was crazy. Thanks, Mike. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. They just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like... I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Over here! <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> shit! Shoot! Dang it! <laughs> Not with the walkers out there. Come on. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, come on, we can't I'm kill it now. It, away. it had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> shit, shit. Oh, God. Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. Mike, the water. On it. He's losing it. I mean, that 
I want to have Kenny, I guess. I don't think he's okay either. This is bad. Kenny! He's gonna be okay though, he can't die like that. Uh, Kenny! Uh, yeah, we need, we, need, we need that water, so... Come on! It's about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what... Clementine! Je Jesus, Clem, it's just not... God damn it! They're getting We're fucking just... far, dude. This is not gonna work. Clem, this ain't please. gonna work. Ah! Shit. Wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. Luke, shut up. Look, I didn't. <laughs> right over here. They're coming up the stairs. Here, uh, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. Shoot shooting. They are not getting up here. Find something to block this gate. Help us. We could block the gate with this. I'll help. I'm coming. Oh, that is a big guy. Together. Ready? That guy is gonna get us through. Definitely. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Cannon. God damn it, Rebecca boy, Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca. I fucked that name so bad. Re Rebecca, really. Rebecca. Ah, uh, we kind of screwed it. Push. Jane, get your ass. Oh shit. What? They're gonna make it up here. Does this shit ever end? We need to break the rest of the deck. Come on, She's get right. it up. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. Oh. Ain't gonna work. It's too thick. Nope. Crap. Look. That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. They're getting closer. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! Come on. We got no time here. Yup, I'm doing it. What do you think? There you go, they can do whatever they want. God damn it, all this trouble and the baby did not even fucking leave. What the fuck?
There you go. It's freaking loud. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. What are we gonna do now? We can't stay here, can we? I've got to rest. It's getting colder. Clementine, I can't think about that right now. We'll think of something. Just not this second. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. <laughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. But somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Kenny, I don't trust you with that baby. I don't trust him. Jesus Christ. I really wouldn't trust Kenny because, oh, you know, shit. he's gonna treat it doing? like, you know, duck. Listen, I'm sorry. Because we have seen it. Go. We have fucking seen it. I understand. Good. I was worried this was gonna turn into a thing. You know, Jamie, Sarah. I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you, too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'll be okay. Sure. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Yeah, I know. Good. Okay. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Keep it. I, uh, I gotta go. You'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. The temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep 
it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Jane. You know, just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Well, look. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. Luke didn't do anything wrong. Not now, Clem. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer. And Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Kenny, together. Where's my baby? Shut the fuck up, Kenny. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. Now what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. I don't need any right. doubt. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. I think Annie's right Maybe in this that's one. For the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away, instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Keeping people alive. You're not helping anything by arguing. Well, don't forget you agreed with me about waiting to leave camp until today. Uh, uh, oh. oh, here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Uh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being Shh. weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. You should listen to Luke. It's Rebecca's decision. I was just trying to help. Hello? What is this? Minas Lishnan! Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? 
He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. He has a six oh, that is not a shame guy. In trouble. <sighs> All right. I think he has a six sister. Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes. Hi, Arvo. These are your friends. I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need uh, uh, things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! What do you need? It's Annie? Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол и что вы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может быть, у них есть патроны. Great, Arvo. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? No, you aren't taking anything from us. They're not telling me to ask. So what is Josh? I wish we could have met differently, Clementine. You were kind. That is not common. What is that? This could be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass! Lucy, Arvo, but you won in his... We have a baby! You have a baby with you? We need a little girl. Is it your best? Get the fuck off! 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 Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! No! Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking don't move! I said don't move! Okay, who's just umer yet? He's beaming ya. Everybody, do my story, ya. How Russian was she? Puriko, Puriko, Aslanis! Opusti Rushi! Yeah, that's what I'm doing! I don't want to die! I will if you make me! Don't make me do it! Ah, Kenny's gonna fuck this up! Kenny's gonna fuck this up! Shoot her in the head. Well, I saved the baby, so let's start. Okay, left Sarah at the trailer park. Again, 59.4% of players left Sarah behind at the trailer park. It is because, you know, there is nothing we can do. It was our moment, okay? She was just not gonna help it. Robert Arvo, you and 52.4% of players refused to steal from Arvo. By, by now, I should have robbed that motherfucker. Crowd through ticket booth. You and 50% of players volunteer to crawl through. Okay. It is 50-50. That is, you know, like weird. Here is the baby. You have 56.9% of players held the baby. Shot Rebecca. You have 42.9% of players choose to shoot Rebecca. I don't know if it is a good thing. But I think I did the right, right, right thing because I saved the baby. But then again, they thought, you know, we shot at them and they're gonna shoot back. So we're gonna have some, you know, like repercussion of that. We're gonna see next episode what is gonna be about that. So let's continue.